In this video, I'm going to go over the importance of adding gear and shaft protectors to anybody that owns an air drone. As, as nice as air drone is and as durable as it can be, um, it has a major flaw in that the gear is exposed. So any crash that you have that impacts uh, the gear uh, can damage both the gear and damage the shaft. Uh, yes, it can both be replaced easily enough, but it damages so easily, you're going to go through so many of them, uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, so I finally, after going through nearly two packages, uh, to replace uh, damaged, uh, damaged gears and uh, metal shafts, I finally caved in and purchased a set of gear protectors from eBay. Uh, this is what it looks like. With um, Well, when you get it, it's like that. It has a little plastic tape on one side. Um, a few people, different people make them. There's a carbon fiber one from one place, a couple different people that make clear ones out of acrylic, and they can mount verse with tie clips, or you can glue them on, or double stick tape. Um, as you see, I'm going to show you, I mounted a couple of them already on my unit. This one is finished where uh, I have the uh, the ties clipped off and as you see now it, it surrounds the gear so any sort of crash you take will hit a plastic protector and not impact on the gear itself damaging your shaft your gear and potentially the motor itself because I'm sure some impact ends up pushing against that too. So this is one that's finished. Here's one where I didn't cut off the ends. And these two sides are, are the normal sides. Uh, and I'll just show you really uh, quickly how to mount these with the tie clips. As you see here, uh, got my lovely and this has a little thing it says parrot. So I like to mount that facing towards the bottom. As you see it, uh, it's a little tricky again doing this with one hand. But I can put it on like I put it on like that. I see one video of somebody showing putting it on underneath, but there gives ends up being a lot of space if you do that. I definitely recommend sticking with putting it over here. And so you have to start by taking your um, tie clip, bend the end a little bit over, and uh, there's a little bit of a hole on the bottom here, uh, underneath the gear. I'm going to slide that underneath the bottom. It's going to come up the top a bit, and to final, finish it going through, you turn the rotor a bit. It bends the clip forward, and then you keep pushing it through. Yeah, I know poor lighting here. Could really use better lighting. But um, you do it on one end. And you notice this bit is pointing down by the end. So let me put this on one side. So you put two clips per side. You see the large end is facing down. And now on the other side you repeat uh, that process. Let me see if I can tilt this up in any way to make this easier for me. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to take my tie clip.
bending the end over a little bit. I'm gonna go underneath here. So I'm, I went from underneath the bottom here, there's that little hole. As you push it up through the top, you see now it's poking up. You poke it up a little bit, and then it starts touching the gear. And then you just rotate the gear a little bit. As you rotate it, it continues to uh, fold it forward. See, now it's fold, folded forward a bit. And that's hard to see since this is all black. Then you just continue pushing it through. <sighs> Sorry for this. Any wobble here. It's impossible to do this with one hand. So once you're completed, you would have the two ends like that. Now, by the way, these um, the gear set I got on eBay, the gear protector, cost uh, it was like fifteen dollars, something like that, ten fifteen. So uh, they they run these things. I don't know, fifteen twenty. But um, these prote protectors on eBay, depending on which ones you get, you can get carbon fiber ones, uh, different. Uh, uh, type. Uh, just search on eBay. You'll find them. Uh, the, the installation is pretty much the same as far as the uh, the zip zip ties. Uh, then you just move. Once you're on here, you're going to pretty much put the zip tie on the end hole on the bottom, and here and here. So I would put the thing forward, and then. And then run it through the front. I don't know if I'm gonna be. This is gonna come out good on on video. I'll oh, just hold on. All right. Actually, I'm gonna just pause it and restart it as I get it through. But basically, I'm gonna be sliding one end around the bottom here. And then the other end on the other side with it loose, and then I'm going to tighten them both up. So as you can see here, I, I ran the loop around the bottom piece of the piece, bottom hole. You you tighten both ends loose. You just get it through one end, and then stick the piece on, and you put it on the other end. And then you uh, position it on the on the piece here, and then you just simply start tightening it up from the bottom. Uh, bring in some of the slack on one side, then bring in bring it in on the other side. Try to do it slow and even until it's finally secured. And I'll show. Continue with all four attached. Here we have the finished product, all four gear guards installed with the uh, zip tie ends clipped. They're all very secure at each end. And they protect the area around the gear nicely. So now in the future, landings that might end up like this that would otherwise have knocked in the gears and as such along with them damaging the shafts now impact the gear protectors hopefully saving me some money and aggravation in the future when flying this puppy 
and I'll show you a quick flight with these uh, gear protectors installed so you can see that it'll still be nice and stable with them on. And here we go, piloting this from the my iPhone 3GS. Look at how stable this thing stays. We got the protectors uh, on here. Let's see if it'll do flips. Let me uh, take it up a little bit higher. Still flipping. And let's do an auto landing. So there you go. Looks good.